Hello guys, it's Carly here and today I feel really inspired just to share my top tips with you on how to surround yourself with positivity and why you would want to do that as well. When you surround yourself with positivity and positive things and people and places and also lots of subliminal stuff in the background as well, then you can watch your life change. You know, you just start to become a bit more upbeat, you don't really buy into the negativity and the drama that's around you as much and life just becomes a bit more positive. And this can happen in a really subtle way, but it has a really great snowball effect. So the kind of things that I do, I'll give you an example of the kind of my kind of day, I suppose. So when I wake up, my alarm goes off at five and what it says on my alarm as I turn it off is um, time to meditate. So five o'clock I meditate and I listen to Bob Proctor's Abundance Meditation. That's, a, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, there's other kind of subliminal affirmation audios that you can listen to as well. There's heaps of amazing stuff on YouTube. So just get that good stuff going into your brain. You know, five o'clock in the morning, I'm still pretty dopey and sleepy and don't necessarily want to get out of bed at that time. But, you know, when I've got all those gorgeous, soothing things going into my head about how I want to start my day, then, you know, that gets me a bit pumped for the day. I have an, another alarm that goes off at 5.30 and that alarm then says, today is going to be amazeballs. I get up, I do my exercise, um, and when I come back and I have a shower, then I'm listening to either podcasts, like really inspirational, motivational podcasts, which I love, or I'm listening to some kind of sublim subliminal affirmations or audios They might be focused on what my goals are. So they might be around health or wealth um, or just happiness and positivity. And um, so, and I listen to a lot of that stuff throughout the day as well. So there's always stuff going into my brain about positive thinking, about listening to really inspiring, motivating, positive, happy stuff. And then I've got other things like, um, I, I just changed my ringtone yesterday to the happy theme tune. And uh, I've actually got this top on today, happy. Um, and I can't remember the name of the guy who sings it, but it's, it's that song that just says, because I'm happy all the way through. So now on my phone um, rings, it's got that gorgeous happy song. And I also changed my text tone as well to, um, I think it's off the movie Despicable Me. And it says, it's so fluffy, which anyone who knows me knows how much I love fluffy things. And that's pretty much how I react when I see anything fluffy. You should see me at the shops. I'm a nightmare. Um, but then also think about the kind of things that you're surrounded by all day long. So are you reading and watching and investing your energy into the news, which is all negative, let's face it, there's hardly anything positive on the news. And you might not think that that really affects you, but it does, it's all going in here. It's all going in your subconscious all day long. So would you prefer to listen to some positive uplifting stuff that's going to motivate you? Or would you prefer to listen to negative news that kind of bogs down your energy a bit? And then engage in that drama with your mates and talk about the news. Um, I choose, I personally choose not to watch, read or listen to the news and you might call me ignorant for that but you know it really raises my vibe to not do that and let's face it the really important stuff you always find out about anyway on Facebook because everybody can't stop talking about the really important stuff so it's not like you really miss out. Um, other things I do, I wear bright colours so got my pink happy top on today, got my bright pink, a uh, bright yellow ring. Um, you know, those, those colours really can lift your mood. Surround yourself with the right people, with people who bring you up. You know, are you spending your days around people who are just draining your energy and maybe they walk away and they feel amazing after chatting to you and you just feel like you're ugh, a shell of your former self. Spend less time around people like that, guard your energy, protect your energy and spend more time around people who just raise your vibe a bit, you know? Those people who make you feel really happy and bouncy and fun and, you know, that you can have a laugh with. Um, inject little doses of fun and laughter throughout your day, as much of your day as possible if you can, um, you know, and that will just keep you, keep you in a positive mindset. And just really be aware of the kind of things that you're reading, that you're watching, that you're letting sink into your brain all day long. And see if there's a bit of a theme there. I like to read, um, you know, positive, uplifting, motivating books, PDFs, audios, listen to audio books, you know, when I'm driving, so I do a lot of driving, we live quite far up the city, so I'm always in the car, I'm a mobile practitioner with my Reiki, um, you know, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of driving all the time, so I choose to spend my driving time using what Tony Robbins would call net time, no extra time, where, you know, if I wasn't listening to anything, I'd be feeling like I was kind of having a wasted journey. So I choose to plug in my phone and I just listen to podcasts endlessly, podcast streaming, or I might choose to listen to affirmations. 
um, or just some kind of positive, you know, positive stuff. And sometimes I've just listened to wicked music that I absolutely love listening to because there's nothing better to raise your vibe than your favorite kind of music. So yeah, that's my, those are my top tips for you on how to just inject that positivity into your days. You can also have affirmations around you in your home. So a lot of people have those gorgeous carved wooden things saying dream or live or laugh or, you know, the kind of affirmation canvases dotted around their home. All that stuff is always going into your brain. It's very subliminal and very subtle, but it all lifts your mood. And then you can use that to kind of, you know, just fuel your goals, write your goals down every day, create a vision board, all that amazing law of attraction stuff. So keep it positive, keep it upbeat, keep it happy, have lots of fun. We're here to have fun. We're not here to, you know, drown in our sorrows and, and let life get the better of us. We're here to just have a happy life. No matter what life throws at you, you can always put a positive spin on it. Okay, so that's it from me today. Have an amazing day. See ya.